Hello Pisces, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first half of November of 2021 spiritual guidance reading. I've been guided to start out with the Gypsy Oracle deck and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So dear Lord Spirit, guides and angels, please bless whichever Pisces I am reading for during this general reading. Please bless this Pisces with clearly defined messages regarding the energy that will be surrounding them on into and through the first half of November of 2021. <clears throat> All right, so Pisces, I feel as though this particular Pisces is being warned about an enemy, okay? Someone who is walking in energies of lies, deceit, or manipulation. Hopefully this isn't Pisces. This is a Pisces who's feeling as though someone here cannot be trusted. So what is this doing, Pisces? This is causing the constancy energy of stubbornness and frustration. At the beginning of November of 2021. Oh boy, let's see. So in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we have uh, the widower energy. So this is a realization in the relationship sector that something has come to an end regarding uh, someone around you who's not being completely honest. Hmm. Wow. So in the creative aspects position of the circle spread, spirit is offering up the love card. I feel like this Pisces really wants to create love, but they are dealing with an ending that's kind of like in the way here. So let's keep going. Oh boy. So in the actions position, we have the falseness card. So spirit is nudging this Pisces uh, to create love uh, and, and not frustration, right? If someone else around you has been false, if someone around you has not been honest, when the widower card shows up, that means that something ended because it was supposed to in the relationship sector at this time in your life. So emotionally, we have a Pisces who's thinking about the area of home or family. Stubborn about someone here. Who is, gosh, look at this love card is looking over at the energies of falseness. But Cupid's still smiling. I feel like we have a Pisces here who's really, really trying to manifest something with someone who's not being truthful, however this may apply. Yeah, in the subconscious position, we have this wife energy. This could be that you're married, Pisces. This could be that someone else is married. This could be that someone is thinking about a previous marriage commitment or partnership. But that is diagonal with the widower card, that the realization that something has ended here. So maybe you're realizing that someone wasn't being completely honest. You're recognizing this close to home, having to do with someone tied to the past. And you're kind of like, your heart is still open because that's not going to, whatever this person is trying to manifest, if it's energies of falseness, this is happening for a lot of the collective. Things are just going to come to light. And Pisces is not going to mess around. They're just going to be like, that's it, I'm done. Now, in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we do have this gift energy. Wanting to create and offer a gift of love to the enemy. Now, if you're a single Pisces, you are definitely dealing with someone that is not in your highest, best good that maybe doesn't want marriage, commitment, partnership, or hasn't completely ended that with someone else. But you're still frustrated here, hoping for a gift of love and a change in the area of home and family. So in the inner strengths position, spirit is offering this Pisces the butterfly. It has been coming up for a lot of people. Personal readings, astrological signs, these video readings. This is about transformation. Spirit's giving you the strength, Pisces, to be able to rise above, right? In the past, you may have gone backwards towards people like this, liars, deception, falseness, but you have evolved. You have risen above and you have the strength to bring an end to anything that isn't love. 
anything that is not a true offer at this time. I feel like there's going to be a lot of clarity for this, uh, this Pisces in the first half of November of 2021 so we're going to continue in a three card summary to my left over here we have some form of a surprise a consolation something and misfortune so in the first position representing the first the very beginning of november of 2021 we have a very kind of contented and patient uh, pisces here who receives some form of surprise surprise information surprise realization I think it could be that someone here is uh, creating a bunch of abundance for themselves, but they're not opening up and sharing that for some reason. I know that this Pisces is hoping for greater abundance, but may be very surprised because someone is being closed off here at the beginning of November. Pisces, you may either hear of someone who had communicated out with someone and wanted to reunite with someone tied to the past that had ended. Or someone may be communicating out to you that they want to reunite with you. I have a Pisces here who's kind of sighing in awe that, oh my gosh, I've come so far and now I just want joyfulness. I just want peace, joy, and happiness. I want to find contentment in my life day to day. By the second week of November of 2021, we have... A Pisces who's thinking about this lover energy, right? Energies of passion in hopes that someone's going to throw you a bone with the consolation prize. Now we do have energies of fortune. Spirit saying, take off that blindfold and look at uh, your fortune, your abundance, all that you have become, how far you have come, what you can now manifest for yourself. Because your own goals and intentions could lead you into the direction of a fortune that will help you to sidestep some form of sorrow here. So we have sorrow regarding a lover and spirit saying we want to bring you some form of fortune and abundance. Some of you um, may receive communication. I'm getting closer from, to the second or third week of November here. A faithful friend offers up a gift, kind words, messages with the gift card in the day-to-day -day aspects position. Here you are kind of sitting in your own space by yourself, working on your own soul's purpose and etc. And then here comes some form of conversation. Now a conversation could come where someone finds out that you were feeling stuck or trapped. And now energies of despair are freeing you from feeling so alone. That's if you're in a partnership and that is your circumstance. Yeah, someone around you may be walking in their ego. And I feel like Pisces is going to kind of start to put two and two together here. By mid-November of 2021, we have a Pisces who is journeying into a new direction away from the energies of misfortune. Probably because of a gift of love in relation to family or home. Recognizing that I brought this Lord energy into my path or I'm journeying into the direction of someone new. So that I can bring a connection to an end via a service. So there could be a Pisces who's recognizing that um, the situation is just not fortunate. It needs to come to an end and I need to have hope. That I can move forward and transform. That I can create something from home or my own home environment. And I can um, manifest uh, some form of abundance. Kind words, messages, love from others. I'm almost nervous about clarifying these messages. So I'm going to confirm and clarify with the Osha Zen Tarot deck. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please uh, confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed for this particular Pisces or group of Pisces that we have discussed in this circle spread. Uh, please continue to confirm and clarify and or provide the astrological signs and or elements of who by which this Pisces will be connecting with during the first half of November of 2021. <laughs> so spirit's asking you to remain patient okay 
Pisces with the seven of pentacles energies, uh, instead of focusing on what someone else is up to here at the beginning of November, Spirit's kind of saying continue to do what you're doing financially, creatively, because uh, eventually a doorway is going to open for you here. Yeah, so in the thoughts position, we do have stubborn, frustrated energy in the tower. So we have this beautiful Pisces here who's working on creating something that brings patience and balance into their life. And then there's a shocking realization in their thoughts. Unexpected, maybe communication. Yep. So in the relationship sector, we do have the uh, page of wands energies, communication coming in quickly and unexpectedly. Actually, I think that's the night. But what I'm getting from this card is someone comes in quickly and unexpectedly and you realize that something has come to an end here. Or that it needs to be brought to an end. Some of you may find that you are tempted by another who should not be trusted if you're single. So in the creative aspects position, we have the nine of swords. Instead of crying over spilt milk, not crying over spilt milk, this is a big deal. Nine of swords is like not being able to sleep at night in the area of love. And spirits say remain patient. Some form of communication is going to come in quickly and unexpectedly in the relationship sector to another or others. But you got this. Oh my gosh, beautiful. So in the actions position, we have a Pisces who's recognizing the falseness of another while at the same time, uh, they have a wish coming true, right? With the seven of pentacles, I'm working on and put, are putting a lot of effort into career and finance. And now I'm recognizing by mid-November of 2021 that my wishes are coming true. That I can now move excitedly into the direction of something I love or someone. Now I do see someone here maybe coming towards you who has Aquarius in their chart with the major arcana, the star card. They're coming in false, full of lies and deceit. Um, trying to give you a pity party here, Pisces. But Spirit's giving you the courage. This is the Justice card. I can grow beyond all obstacles. For Spirit is giving me the courage to do so. I can overcome shocking realizations regarding others. But I can also bring an end to anything that's going to cause me to not sleep at night. I want balance. I want patience. I want a future. In the subconscious position, spirit saying, beautiful, I think, for some. Okay, I see a few different things taking place now. Subconsciously, with a gift from the universe in the form of the Ace of Cups, is the realization of a new path in love. Sidestepping someone here who was maybe making some bad decisions, but now receiving some unexpected communication that I think is going to free you from fear of not being appreciated for your gifts, your talents, and your skills. Not being appreciated for who you are. In some cases, again, I do feel like there may come a temptation if it hasn't at the end of October, in the first half of November, um, where someone's going to come in and try to tempt you. They're going to come in quickly, leave just as quickly, and leave you in this energy of sorrow. So Spirit's saying, you know, if you want marriage commitment partnership, it needs to be agreed upon here. It's almost like this Pisces is saying as well, or it's a different Pisces that, look, I want a new path in love, an overflowing path of peace, joy, and happiness. And if you're not going to be truthful and honest, I'm moving beyond you into a path of greater love because I have these great gifts, talents, and skills. Beautiful. So we have yet another gift from the universe in the form of the Ace of Wands. In the day-to-day -day aspects position, your gifts, your talents, your skills are going to get you excited about a brand new beginning, something you're very passionate about. Something that will bring you energies of balance and patience and courage. The ability to make a wish come true will help you as well to free yourself maybe from a desire to be someone's wife to go instead into a creative path that overflows you, uh, emo overflows emotionally for you. Yeah, so the reason you may be feeling a little bit alone in the first half of November of 2021 Pisces is because Spirit is guiding you to kind of uh, go through this transformation, to take what you are creating in your thoughts 
and are bringing out into your physical world. For eventually, one particular path, idea, goal, intention is going to come true. And you're going to recognize that you can surpass anyone's shadow energy because your gifts are leading you forward um, into so much more. It's like your hopes are growing and your ability to bring situations or people or circumstances to an end is becoming very clear here. So in a three card summary to my left with the same Osha Zen Tarot deck, we've got the Page of Swords, we've got the Fool Energy, and we've got the Celebration card. So this is beautiful. Now at the beginning of November of 2021 Pisces, we have uh, someone who's got messed up thoughts about some form of truth regarding someone who may have with the Hierophant Energy, a Taurus Energy in their chart. Uh, difficulties regarding marriage commitment or partnership recognizing you know what when it comes to heartache with the three of swords energies i have the strength to sit in this aloneness to go through a transformation to recognize that i've mastered these type of situations in the past so we have an ending regarding uh the emperor someone who's in a leadership position someone who's a father figure grandfather figure a realization that maybe someone else isn't putting in the same amount of effort Feeling unsure, is this my happily ever after, is it not? Recognizing a lion in sheep's clothing. But it's almost like you can free yourself from that burden very quickly because you are giving birth to so much more for yourself. By the second week of November of 2021, yeah, we have a very hardworking Pisces here. Working so hard and carrying energies of sorrow, unable to sleep at night, waiting to manifest this new beginning, and boom, spirit says, here it is. This discovery of a new passionate creative journey could show up from the second to the third week of November of 2021. So hang in there is the message for the Nine of Wands energies. Keep creating what you're creating because you are manifesting. Kind words and messages will come from someone who's a very passionate masculine, someone who's in a leadership position, someone who may be older than you, who has fire in their chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo. So moment to moment, you may feel like a lot of things are starting or going on in your life. During the first half of November, but spirit saying turn inwards and look at what is on offer here. Yeah, someone may come towards you who uh, has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Uh, and Spirit's going to help you to make the right decision regarding that person. Because I see an enemy coming in with energies of falseness, and you've already been there and done that. So Spirit's saying, postpone the energies of burden. Leave troubled waters behind. Come together with others when it comes to money or things of the material. Because new possibilities are going to open up for you uh, as uh, there comes some form of public attention or recognition. So what you are creating is not only going to bring you great passion, but it's going to lead you down a path of great emotional fulfillment. With or without another here. See, by mid-November of 2021, we got the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor into the direction of the Three of Cups energies. A reason to celebrate recognizing in hindsight that you had the courage to push beyond certain obstacles and make a change from within the home or to actually move into the direction of a new home a new business success so you may find that you are conflicted with the five of swords energies about you know communication should i stay should i go and then there's a realization that the universe with the world energies has turned uh, has brought things full circle here. And that now a, a, a very beautiful karmic path is opening up for you. So we have a bit of a rebirth here. Something is falling away, but it's exciting. All the old frustrations, worries, and sorrow here in the area of creativity are uh, being acknowledged by yet another ace. 
The Ace of Swords is a difficult new beginning because it's about going after what it is we're passionate about while at the same time cutting away from who and or what no longer serves us. But that's right below the world card. So something is falling or someone is falling away because that journey is over. So we have someone who's in a leadership position, someone financially abundant, secure and stable with the King of Pe Pentacles energies. And then we have the King of Cups energies, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. So someone who's financially abundant, secure, and stable, a very caring, loving energy, someone who loves their family, their business. And we have uh, maybe a water sign uh, energy. There's healing. People are being drawn to the fact that you've gone through a rebirth here, that you have healed and you have mastered your journey. That kind words, messages, and exciting, playful energy is returning to you because you know what this ordinary day-to-day -day journey is all about. You have a breakthrough. Some are reflecting on another, fearing that they're going to do something that happened in the past and you're causing your own self-sabotage. If you've been wondering about someone who has Sagittarius in their chart with the major arcana, the temperance angel, spirit saying, uh, there could be travel uh, with the Ten of Pentacles. There's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel, uh, great abundance, changes in the area of tradition. So we could have a Pisces here who's fearing moving forward with another because in the past there was falseness and now they're unsure. But Spirit's saying you have changed. If there is a gift coming to you offering a new path, a renewed path in love where you can become a wife, free yourself from energies of sorrow and have the courage to open your heart to love. Either way, in the end, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands showing up for a lot of people as well. This is attention, recognition. Uh, in some cases, Pisces are receiving um, or and are realizing that you've given birth to some form of public attention and recognition. Great success and victory. And that's what's bringing you the courage to step beyond anyone who is walking in their shadow energy, right? Anyone who is being dishonest and false, you're going to succeed no matter what comes in your way. And this is going to feel really good. All right. So I'm going to close by bringing in the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild. Closing message, please. For this Pisces, overall description of the energy surrounding this Pisces during the first half of November of 2021 or any specific spiritual advice. A burning hero. Oh my goodness, yeah. You're burning because you've been through so many difficult things and you're coming out on the other side uh, transformed. My notes for the number three card, which is also the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost transformation from life's tests and now not only do you emerge but you manifest now you um, manifest a way to emerge and transform because of the tests you had to endure in the past success is awaiting you have the courage to keep going until you find it till it comes before you Oh my gosh, this could go so many ways. Okay, so should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the fall special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Thank you so very, very much to those of you who have continued to donate to my channel to keep it up and running. Take care and God bless.